core features of the Spotfire Analyst interface are shown in previous Quick Start videos, but this video will cover some of the remaining interface details not previously shown. We saw earlier that we could use the Add Data Flyout to add local files like spreadsheets, but we can also connect directly to databases, paste data from our clipboard, and link to data already in our analysis. By going to Library, we can browse for data and analyses shared by others. The data panel allows you to select columns and get quick recommendations, but by clicking the gear icon you can also get access to data formatting options for that column. Right-clicking individual columns give you some quick data wrangling options, and to the right of the column name you can filter data directly. At the bottom you'll see details on any filter applied. The drop-down allows you to switch across data tables. The visualization panel shows you the charts available which you can drag and drop right into your analysis. The data canvas shows you the workflow of your data, starting with the source data on the left, and at the right, the final data table that will be used in the analysis. The icons on each node show how many transforms are used and gives you alerts if there are any issues. By clicking each node, I can see what the data looks like at that point in my data workflow, or I can select the Information tab to see details. Clicking through the nodes allows me to track my changes in an auditable log. At the bottom of the analysis, there is a bar for page navigation. Right-clicking gives me options for managing each page, exporting the page, or changing how the page navigation is viewed. At the bottom right, I can click the arrow to quickly change pages. Next to this, I see the number of columns and rows in the data table for the selected visualization, the number of rows marked, and that data table's name. If external data table is used with a data connector, this will just say external data. In each visualization, hovering over the top right will show options for showing and hiding the legend, viewing the visualization properties, turning on and off visualization features, maximizing the view of that visualization, and removing the visualization completely. You can right-click any visualization to access these options as well. At the top right, I can use the drop-down to change between my current editing mode or the viewing mode to preview how other consumers will see my analysis. The gear icon opens visualization properties for the actively selected visualization, and the filter panel opens up a list of all filters per data table. I can use the drop-downs to expand and collapse drawers for each data table and use a search at the top to find specific filters by their name. The thumb pin will allow the panel to be free-floating and the reset arrow will refresh all visible filters. At the bottom, I see any filters that have been applied, which I can individually remove with the X icon. Next to the filter icon button is a bookmark icon, which allows me to create, edit, delete, update, and apply bookmarks created by myself or other users. The chat icon opens any conversations about the analysis and applies bookmarks if associated. The bell icon is for notifications and shows me any alerts or warnings in my analysis, as well as the progress of any scripts or procedures that are running. The globe icon will also open the progress window, but by hovering I can see details about my software version and server connection. The magnifying glass pulls up the Spotfire search, which can also be summoned by hitting Ctrl F on my keyboard. Moving farther to the left, I see the undo and redo buttons. Note that Spotfire has unlimited undo history. Under the User tab, I can find information about my account and go to Server Administration if I have access. In Help, I can access a rich Spotfire documentation, which is linked throughout the tool. In various windows, you'll see the Help button, which will bring up documentation on the specific information shown in that window. Under Help, you also have direct access to the Spotfire Support Portal, Diagnostic Data, and the user-driven TIBCO community. In Tools, you may have access to developer tools for advanced customization and many advanced analytics tools for data analysis. There are diagnostic tools as well, and if you're licensed, you have access to automation services for creating automated routines. Registering data functions allows you to create advanced analytics scripts with R, Tear, MATLAB, and other engines. Administration is used primarily for Spotfire administrators. In Options, you can set client defaults for your Spotfire experience. In View, you can show various menus we've already explored, as well as data tags and lists, used analytic models, and even a web page pane. Visualization shows many of the options we've already seen, but from here you can also create annotations. You can deeply customize the analysis theme and styling, quickly arrange visualizations, and even lock visualization boundary layout. In Data, you control all things data. You can add special columns, transform data, reload data, and see properties like data table properties with many deep details and control over how tables are managed. You can also control data connection properties if using data connectors and data function properties if using advanced analytics scripts. Edit has many of the options we've already seen, but includes easy access to marking filter management. Lastly, the File tab gives you save and export options, including saving to the library. You can also jump straight to your library from here. 
In Document Properties, you'll see the URL for where the analysis is stored in the library, as well as settings for how users will see the analysis. In Markings, you can control all the markings used to brush link visualizations. You can go to Filtering Schemes to add new filtering schemes. You can add stored values as document properties that can be accessed throughout your analysis. And you may have permission to access API scripting as well. In the web browser, if you have the business author license, you'll be able to do a lot of this editing directly from the browser. You may see slight differences in the style of menus, but the available features should perform similar to your desktop analyst experience.